Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says Make a bar graph of an experiment of tossing an ideal coin six times where the preferred outcome is head. If we suppose P to be the probability of success of an event and Q to be the probability of failure of the event in one trial and suppose there are n number of trials If the number of successes denoted by the random variable capital X is zero, that is in one trial there is no success, then in that case the probability P would be given by NC0 into P to the power of zero into Q to the power of N minus zero which is N and this is equal to Q to the power of N. And in case if the number of successes is 1, then the probability would be given by nc1 into p to the power of 1 into q to the power of n minus 1. If number of successes is 2, then the probability is given as nc2 p to the power of 2 into q to the power of n minus 2. If the number of successes is CR, then probability is NCR into P to the power of R into Q to the power of N minus R. And if the number of successes is N, then probability is NCN into P to the power of N into Q to the power of N minus N that is 0. And this is equal to P to the power of N. This is the key idea that we use in this question. Let's proceed with the solution now. So in this experiment we are tossing an ID coin six times. So the total number of trials in this case that is n would be equal to six. Now p that is the probability of success would be the probability of getting head and this would be equal to 1 upon 2 or you can say 0 0.5 now Q is the probability of failure that is the probability of not getting head and this would be equal to 1 minus P that is 1 minus 0 0.5 which is again 0 0.5 probability of not getting head means probability of getting a tail now as the coin is tossed six times then the following cases would arise first we would have six tails that is there would be no head so in this case as there is no head number of successes would be zero and the probability would be six c zero into p that is zero point five to the power of zero into q that is zero point five to the power of 6 minus 0 which is 6 and so this is equal to 0 0.5 to the power of 6 which is equal to 0 0.015625 consider the next case in which we get one head and five tails now as there is one head so number of successes is 1 and so in this case the probability would be given as 6C1 into P that is 0 0.5 to the power of 1 into Q 
that is 0.5 to the power of 6 minus 1 that is 5. So this value will come out as 0.09375. Now the next case in which we have 2 heads and 4 tails. In this the number of successes would be 2 as there are 2 heads. And so the probability would be given by 6C2 into 0.5 that is P to the power of 2 into Q that is 0.5 to the power of 6 minus 2 that is 4 and this is equal to 0.234375. Now the next case in which we get 3 heads and 3 tails in this the number of successes is 3 since there are 3 heads and the probability would be given as 6C3 into 0.5 to the power of 3 into 0.5 to the power of 3 and this would be equal to 0.3125. Let's consider the next case in which we have 4 heads and 2 tails. In this case the number of successes is 4 as there are 4 heads and so the probability would be given as 6C4 into 0.5 to the power of 4 into 0.5 to the power of 2 and so this would be equal to 0.234375. Now the next case in which there would be 5 heads and 1 tail. So number of successes would be 5 as the number of heads in this case are 5 and so the probability would be given as 6C5 into 0.5 to the power of 5 into 0.5 to the power of 1 and so this would be equal to 0.09375 Now consider the case in which we get 6 heads so the number of successes is 6 here and so the probability would be 6C6 into 0 0.5 to the power of 6 into 0 0.5 to the power of 0 and so this would be equal to 0 0.015625 now we will draw a bar graph using this table now when the number of successes that is number of heads is 0 then the probability is 0 0.015625 This rectangular bar shows the number of heads as 0 with probability 0 0.015625 Next we have if the number of heads is 1 then the probability is 0 0.09375 this rectangular bar shows the number of heads as 1 and having probability 0 0.09375. Then we have if the number of heads is 2 then the probability is 0 0.234375. So this rectangular bar shows the number of heads as 2 and the probability is 0. 234375 Now when the number of heads is 3 probability is 0 0.3125 So this rectangular bar indicates the number of heads as 3 and probability 0 0.3125 For the number of heads 4 probability is 0 0.234375 So this rectangular bar is indicating number of heads 4 and probability 0 0.234375 For the number of heads as 5, probability is 0 0.09375 This is the rectangular bar indicating number of heads as 5 and probability as 0 0.09375 Now if the number of heads is 6, then the probability is 0 0.015625 so this rectangular bar shows number of heads as 6 and probability as 0 0.015625.
So this is the bar graph for the experiment of tossing an ID coin six times when our preferred outcome is head. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.